Hi, for this recording, we are given permutation in S8, where P is given in two-line form. Q is also given in two-line form. Part A express P and Q as a product of the joint cycles. And then, find the product of P and Q, and also write down Q inverse and P inverse in cycle form. Finally, write down the order of the subgroup generated by P in S8. Let's write down P and Q in cycle form. Now P is given by the two line form above. So the cycle form P was sent 1 to 7 and 7 back to 1. So it close and P was sent 2 to 4 and 4 back to 2. So it close. Now P was sent 3 to 8 and then 8 to 6 then 6 to 3 therefore it close and P fix 5 so you do need to write down 5 now how about Q in cycle notation Q send 1 to 4 then 4 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 3 to 7 then 7 to 5 then 5 to 6 then 6 to 8 then 8 back to 1 it close so Q is actually a uh, 8 cycle now let's try to find the product. Given P and Q in cycle notation, we want to find out what is P and Q. Let's start with 1. From the back, 1 go to 4. Then look for 4 in front, 4 go to 2. There is no more 2 in front, so we write down 2. Then at the back, 2 go to 3. Look for 3 in front, you say 3 go to 8. There is no more 8 in front, so write down 8. Then from the back, 8 go to 1. Then look, look for 1 in front, 1 go to 7, and there's no 7 in front, so write down 7. Then at the back, look for 7, 7 go to 5, and there's no 5 in front, so write down 5. Then at the back, look for 5 now, 5 go to 6, look for 6 in front, 6 go to 3, there's no more 3 in front, so you write down 3. Then, start with 3 at the back, 3 go to 7, look for 7 in front, 7 go to 1, so there's no more 1 in front, so write down 1, as we already have 1, so the cycle close. So what you left is 4 and 6. Let's start with 4. At the back, 4 go to 2, look for 2, you say 2 go back to 4 again. So eventually, 4 stay at 4. And, the, and then look for 6, 6 go to 8, and then in front, 8 go to 6, there's no more 6 in front, so 6 actually go back to 6. So the product of P and Q is a 6 cycle, 1, 2, 8, 7, 5, 3. Next, we're going to find out P inverse and Q inverse, and then the product Q inverse, P inverse. Now P inverse, P is above, so we get 1 to 7, so P inverse of send 7 to 1. P send 2 to 4, so P inverse of send 4 to 2. P send 3 to 8, then 8 to 6, so P inverse of send 6 to 8, then 8 to 3. Q inverse, now Q will send 1 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 7, 7 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 8. So Q inverse will send 8 to 6, 6 to 5, 5 to 7. 7 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 4, to 1, and then this rewrite as 1 to 8, 6, 5, 7, 3, 2, 4. Now the product Q inverse and P inverse will be 1, 8, 6, 5, 7, 3, 2, 4, multiply with 1, 7, 2, 4, and 3, 6, 8 because P inverse is also written as 1, 7, 2, 4, 3, 6, 8. Now when you multiply them, start with 1. At the back, 1 go to 7. Then look for 7. 7 go to 3. So write down 3. Then at the back, 3 go to 6. Look for 6 in front. 6 go to 5. No more 5 in front. So write down 5. At the back, look for 5. 
You see 5 go to 7 and there is no more 7 in front, write down 7. At the back of a 7, 7 go to 1, then go for 1 in front, 1 go to 8, so write down 8. At the back, 8 go to 3, then look for 3 in front, 3 go to 2, there is no more 2 in front, write down 2. At the back, 2 go to 4, look for 4 in front, 4 go back to 1, so 2 eventually go back to 1. And then we have missed out some symbol like 4. So look out for 4 now. At the end, 4 go to 2. And then in front, 2 go to 4. So 4 stay put. Then look for 6. At the end, 6 go to 8. And in front, 8 go back to 6. So 6 stay put. So Q in verse P in verse is 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 2. Alternatively, we know that P times Q is 1, 2, 8, 7, 5, 3. And Q inverse, P inverse is the inverse of P and Q. Why is it so? You can check this easily that Q inverse times P inverse times P times Q, what do you get? Multiply P inverse and P, you get E. Q inverse times E is Q inverse. Q inverse sum Q is E. Therefore, Q inverse P inverse is the inverse of P and Q because when they multiply together, they give you the identity. Therefore, Q inverse P inverse is the inverse of P times Q. Now, how to write down the inverse of P times Q? Inverse of P times Q is 3 go to 5. 5 go to 7, 7 go to 8, 8 go to 2, 2 go to 1, 4 stay put, 6 stay put. Rewrite them, sub 1, 1 go to 3, 3 go to 5, 5 go to 7, 7 to 8, 8 go to 2, and 4 and 6 stay put. So Q inverse P inverse is 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 2, 6 cycle, just like what we have earlier, 1, 3, 5, 7, 8, 2. Now, how about order of, of the subgroup generated by P? Now, P is a product of a disjoint, two cycle, two cycle, and three cycle. Therefore, the order of P is LCM of 2, 2, 3, which is 6. Therefore, the order of the cyclic subgroup generated by P is 6. That's the end of the recording.